Hello guys, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and uh, Capricorn Rising weekly tarot reading for February 25th to March 3rd, uh, 2019. So that being said, uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, which by the way are the traditional reader weight uh, tarot deck, which in this case is the uh, radiant version of it, um, I want to remind you once again that that is going to be just a general reading for Capricorn star sign and for that reason the reading itself is going to resonate in a different way, level and uh, intensity that is with every single different Capricorns. If you want more personal touch, like uh, if you want me to interpret the cards according to your personal situation, then that is a, a subject of a personal reading and uh, for personal readings uh, you can go to my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricings and if you go for that uh, don't forget that to the end of February all of the prices are with reduced costs to make myself more accessible to people that are struggling especially financially so cutting down the cards now and uh, the first one that we are going to have for you Capricorns which marks the topic of your week that is going to be the nine of cups followed by the second card which is the uh, things that you should not do or how you should not approach the topic that is going to be the page of cups the third one that is uh, the two of pentacles or the positive approach toward the situation, how you can speed the things up and how you can grow in it. And the last one that is the final outcome of growth, that is, should you follow the um, guidance here that Taro is giving to you with the previous couple of cards. So once again, that is to be the nine of cups, page of cups, then it is the two of pentacles, and the last one that is to be the justice. All right. So this is going to be a rather very, very good week for you, uh, Capricorns. And uh, it's uh, it, it's simply a week a, in which uh, there will be things happening that are going to create much of a joy in your life, much contentment, uh, a content, excuse me there. Uh, but I, sadly, they will be... Um, I can't say really sadly, but with sadly from a standpoint the day will not replace any of your responsibilities that you gotta tackle with, okay? So it's it's more like additions that are gonna come around. And um, simply at a certain point, you may find yourself without having much time for yourself, that is. But in the same time, you know, involving yourself into those awesome awesome enterprises so going with the first card here which is the nine of cups for your topic obviously nine of cups is a very very positive card people say wish come true it could be all right i mean not in every case but it could be the thing with the nine of cups is that the fortune itself it's kind of like suffusing you with its light and uh, what that means it is very likely that everything that you touch and everything that you attend into throughout the week is simply gonna happen you're gonna make it work but the nine of cups it does represent fulfillment of life it does represent a lot a lot of emotional satisfaction and wish fulfilled but that happens through a, a certain once again circumstance or enterprise so giving it to you that way it, it it's going to be a um it's very difficult to explain it so long story short guys with the nine of cups at that specific at this week february 25th to march 3rd uh, it is where you're going to make a, a very, very good milestone for yourself. That could be the new relationship of yours, you know, the promotion that you wanted and so on and so forth. The thing, however, with the nine of cups, nine of, did I say nine of wands? Excuse me, the, knight, the nine of cups. It is that this thing with such presented, it is a short term one. All right. So it has a potential currently 
for a short-term happiness so like a short-term success short-term relationship and so on and so forth but you can solidify it to transform it into something long-term lasting it will just it will require actions towards securing it instead of kind of like believing that that is going to move along and it will be yours for a long time because you deserve it it could be but I'd, something belongs to the one who takes it so that being said it will be best at that point as soon as you kind of grasp on this emotionally fulfilling enterprise or endeavor that comes around in this week whatever your wish is that is um, you to do the necessary measures or to take the necessary measures excuse me to cultivate it and to secure it so it can traverse itself or transform itself into a, a long-term happiness once again that we gives you an a uh, event that creates short-term happiness with the potential there for you to secure long-term happiness from it if that makes uh if that makes sense the accompanied card that is going to be the high priestess of it so uh when i said a long-term happiness uh, maybe with this combo that could be a lifetime all right it's just the high priestess it does points that uh, you are going to fulfill a yearning of uh, of your soul I, I, and as it is a yearning of your soul it means that you may not consciously know what that is okay so just to give you an, an example let's say that you yearn for a lot of money and so on and so forth but something completely out of nowhere happens not regarding money at all something very very different than that and um, even though you haven't completed you know your agenda of having a lot of money throughout the week yet you are feeling very very satisfied and emotionally fulfilled and that thing whatever happens it it is there for you to linger it will require security around it it will require cultivating as well but uh, as soon as you make those necessary approach or that necessary approach to cultivate it like new relationship to cultivate new relationship to cultivate new job and so on and so forth that thing will be with you or rather it will be yours for a lifetime if you want it that is so seeing this week uh the way i can say the things is that especially for those who are in a very bad spot at the moment uh, career-wise or relationship-wise it doesn't really matter uh, a thing is going to come around for you guys that is going to make you very very enjoyable or, or kind of like you are going to have that content and also is going to make your life all of a sudden start worth living again um with the, the, these couple of cards uh, as a uh, synergy here could be compared to the ten of cups uh because only thing that lacks to the nine of cups to become to become a ten of cups is that consistency is that potential for a long term and the high priestess give it gives it to it so simply it's uh whatever issues you are experiencing throughout the week with co-workers or with relationship and so on and so forth are going to pretty much lose a, a large portion of their relevance because that new thing coming around like i said it could be your new job or your new relationship it's just you need to think what your wish is um it's gonna it's basically going to how can I place it? Gonna gonna make you indifferent for those issues that you may have at that moment, and is gonna exhilarate your uh, environment. So uh, the next card, which is the negative approach toward the situation, that is going to be the uh, Page of Cups, and in this case, page the this page plays the roles of where one is constantly overthinking the situation instead instead excuse me seizing it right like trying to find more confirmation than you actually need so for that reason the page comes here as a um, as a doubt 
where you could doubt that your future positions taken uh, it, uh, are going to be wrong or the doubt that the overview of the whole new situation such a reason uh, where you are kind of like having now fulfilled life and so on and so forth uh, it's something that you cannot sustain and uh, therefore the criticism you're gonna place or that you're going to address to yourself is going to be more than you can handle so that being said long story short with the page of cups is that as soon as you recognize uh you know what you want what you want and um also where your fulcrum is uh and you establish your positions according to it you should not strain from them regardless of uh how the situation develop any further the thing with the page is that the page isn't very initiative while you have to be initiative throughout the week the page is more daydreamy while you should be more focused on what is that as i said short-term happiness and you have to be focused on it and work for it so you can transform it into a long-term one the thing is that you may think that throughout the week that things are going to change even in toward the better. Well, guess what, guys? With the page here, the change already came. I mean, this thing is the change you needed. And uh, there is no time for you to wait for anything longer. So uh, it's just as soon as you define your place in whatever you are regarding career or regarding relationship, uh, you have to keep on moving into that direction. And just to give you an example of that, uh, if it is a, a person that comes around, you know, and you, you, you kind of see a potential to make a relationship and you determine yourself to make a relationship, no second doubts about it, further going into the future should, ar should arise uh, in your nature. Which means that at this week you have to make that uh, that decision for what you want and uh, basically not not exactly for what you want but should you go for what you want that is the thing because what you want or rather like what you wish which are two different things uh, is going to be presented as an opportunity and uh, instead of constantly overthinking it how things could develop just you know extend your hand and just grasp on it the accompanied card here with the page that is going to be the five of um, five of swords uh, they form passive neutrals and in this case uh, th there could be some people around you who will try to give you the impression that you that what you are after that wish of yours which is forming and manifesting right now is far beyond beyond your limits and far beyond your capabilities and should you try it out you are gonna fail now that is their thoughts not necessarily they're gonna tell you that because they don't want to see you to succeed some of them could could say it because they don't want to see you suffering or a failure but the truth is that they don't know where your capabilities are or how big your capabilities are and for that reason it will be best if you strain yourself from the opinions of the others what you can do and what you cannot do throughout um throughout this week uh but all in all uh it does look quite of an exhilarating week and uh like i said especially for those who are in a very very bad spot they can expect something really good to happen to them which is going to give them new strength and uh, new points of direction for them to look forward to but it's they they also need to Put the toils behind it to cultivate it to sustain it and to transform it into a, a long-term goal but like i said that is going to be a peripheral thing what i mean is that because it comes around that doesn't mean that you will not be that you will not be able or you will not have to tackle with the current responsibilities and problems and that's why we do have the two of pentacles here into the third position which is the correct approach toward the situation now with this card the very least capricorns you need to settle and sort your things which have been initiated previously so you should not leave matters unsolved and matters unattended and matters unfinished throughout this week 
the trio of pentacles asks you to be very playful and to juggle with whatever activities you do have planned and even not planned as well because with the two of pentacles the best results are really achieved when one does not stay in the framework on in on a static and uh, established idea but more like one is open for surprises because with the two of pentacles many small changes are going to appear here and there regardless if this is going to be relationship wise or career wise as well and one or in this case you capricorns should be adaptive and agile enough with your performance to take those minor changes as a uh, opportunities rather rather than as a setbacks two of pentacles it's in an important card where um you can fit everything within your schedule I, it may seem overburdening at certain points, but you can definitely do it and fill up the cracks with, uh, with thing or kind of like fill up, fill up the gaps uh, in your environment and especially in these places that you are uh, finding yourself quite poignant with an amusing, small and petite, milder but yet exhilarating, uh, exhilarating enterprises. So. Um, just uh, just go day by day. It is what I'm trying to say here. Uh, don't think of what could happen tomorrow. Just focus on what is today and do as best as you can to cultivate and to sustain it, to secure it, that is. The accompanied card that is going to be the uh, Wheel of Fortune and these couple of cards are forming passive neutrals once again. So the Wheel of Fortune uh, here, it does point that there is going to be one of the, one of those minor and petite changes is going to is going to happen to be once in a lifetime opportunity for huge improvement. How you are going to recognize that it is when your work becomes busy. For example, if we're talking about career, uh, usually the Wheel of Fortune manifests itself through becoming very busy. So at a certain project, you will start becoming very, very busy at a certain point. And it is at that place where the opportunity is going to arise. I'm to here give, trying to give you a, a hint to recognize where the Wheel of Fortune with the Two of Pentacles is going to manifest. But as the Two of Pentacles sits here, you need to have more like an open-ended plan so you can fit that once in a lifetime opportunity in it. Same thing could go into one relationship, but for relationship wise, it's more like being surrounded by, by many people that are just coming coming around and they are just passing by. So it's it's more like at a certain points throughout the week, uh, you will not be able to, uh, how can I place it? You will not be able to just stick with only one person, but there will be many asking for your attention and so on and so forth. And at that place, those who are asking for your attention, one of them is going to be one that once in a lifetime opportunity such presented. You will have similar opportunities further, but not as unique as this one. And uh, so you need to be quite agile once again, you know, to give attention to everybody. So you don't miss the person that comes around as well, who does not necessarily has to be something to do with a um, intimate connection. It could be an intimate one, but it could be as well something else. And lastly, what we do have, it is the final outcome of growth. Should you follow the guidance of Tarot? And as we can see, quite of a crazy week where, uh, you know, a lot of unpredictable events are going to happen, which are going to be quite happy coincidences, but that will be rather very exhausting. And the judge, the justice at the end, it does point that at, at that time, at the end of the week, your sense of discernment is going to be extremely, extremely high. And through the sense of discernment, you will be able to make very, very accountable decisions for yourself and for the situation itself, such a reason. <clears throat> So uh, at the end of the day, you can 
make the right approach toward it. So at the end of the outcome of growth, it is the possibility where this time around you can structure a very, very solid plan, a very good strategy for how to proceed on forward with your new relationship, for example, or the new enterprise into your relationship or the new job or the promotion you get, depending on what kind of yearning you have once again. But instead of being plain playful from now on, after the end of the week, you will recognize which kind of responsibilities you have to set first in front of yourself and which last. So it's kind of like you are going to make that chain of steps. You got to move on forward, which is going to be very accurate, very productive, and as well, very, very effective. And simply, you will be able to reach a, a balance in your life through that card where even though tackling with very important responsibilities you will still have time for yourself you will have time for your work you will have time for your relationship life as well your intimate life and with your for your friends either the uh, accompanied card here this is going to be the death and this time around we do have a an active neutrals and uh, basically what uh, the justice here points is that this time uh, with the death card is that this time around you will be the blacksmith of your fate you will forge your fate here and you get to choose guys where the change is going to take place you just you get to choose through that uh, or not where excuse me but how the change is going to take place because obviously uh, this exhilarating thing and these these kind of like uh, joyful circumstances are going to provoke change for the better in, in one's life. And uh, how that change is going to take place at the end of the day through you structuring your routine and building up your responsibility in a strict plan at the end of the week. You will uh, you will make that change happen on your turf by on your turf by your rules and by your expectations, or you at least are gonna have the chance to do so, the possibility to do so. I strongly advise that you take it. Not to mention that with these cards, if you are going through a, uh, a court case, then uh, it is likely that the, the, the justice, and especially if until this very moment that court case was unjust, well, this is going to be traversed, and if we go with that interpretation of a court case, I would say with these cards is that unexpected uh, proof, unexpected circumstances are going to pop up, which happened back in the past that are going to give completely different direction of the court case, which is going to this time around go, go or proceed on further within uh, within the framework of the fair justice so the justice is going to be served this time around so that being said capricorns uh, this was your weekly tarot reading for uh, february 25th to march 3rd 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh once again that was a general reading for capricorn star sign and for that reason uh, this reading is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single different Capricorns. If you want your situation to be touched personally and you want me to interpret uh, your personal situation through tarot cards, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find full list of my services as well as their pricings. Right, signing out now. See you around. Bye.